Today is Barnes & Noble's whole day To Kill a Mockingbird readathon, and we sat there for about an hour and a half, and we left on the third reader because she was taking liberties and sort of censoring the book, and I feel if you're going to read a book and celebrate it as great literature, you might as well read it as it was written. I know that there's certain words in To Kill a Mockingbird that are not culturally acceptable, and they shouldn't be. I, I can acknowledge that, but they help to capture what the country's language was like at the time of its publication. And you shouldn't censor that or take liberties with it. That's how she phrased it. You can take liberties with it. In case you're unaware, the reason they're making such a hype about To Kill a Mockingbird today is that tomorrow the highly awaited sequel Go Set a Watchman is put into publication. Now I'm going to be there at probably around 9am to get one of the first copies, mostly because I'm really excited to read it because it's been 50 or so years since To Kill a Mockingbird originally came out, but also because the first 20 people to buy a copy get a free tote bag. So. It's a win-win deal. Uh, there's been a lot of news in the last few days about uh, some details in the sequel. Mostly that Atticus, the, one of the main characters, uh, Scout's dad, and one of the more saint-like characters in classic literature, uh, he becomes sort of a racist in the second novel. And this surprised a lot of people, and it it's caused a a pretty big controversy among readers, I'd say. Many of them are boycotting it and saying that they're just not going to read the sequel because they want Atticus to remain in their minds the perfect man that he was when they first read the book. But I think that's stubborn. I think it's stubborn and it's kind of dumb because people change and it would be unrealistic for Atticus not to change in this novel. It takes place 20 years later and he's a crotchety old man now. He's 78, I think. I don't do much research. I'm interested to see the character development that must have taken place to make Atticus Finch liberal pioneer lawyer for civil rights into a segregationist. I'm not, I'm definitely gonna still read the book. I think it's dumb to say, oh, I wanna remember him how I remember him. He's a piece of fiction. No matter how perfect you may perceive him to be, he is a piece of fiction and must be treated as such. That's my little rant. Carry on.